Hi everyone and thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. So I'd like to invite you to please subscribe. Click the subscribe button below so that you'll see more of videos and Philippine architecture. So I came across this Facebook post by Max Limpad, a journalist and blogger from Cebu City. And he was talking about this term called giatay. So you all know this, especially this buanos, you know what the word giatay is. We use this as an expression for something, right? Like giatay ka or ataya pod. So um, I was very curious about this post and what Max Limpag mentioned was that it was very related to an architectural furniture called the Atay Bed. So this video is going to talk to you about the architectural furniture, the Atay Bed. So the Atay Bed is actually a bed uh, made by renowned Chinese furniture, Atay. So the Atay Bed is very, very popular during the 1860s up to the 1920s and in the colonial period and actually it was made as a matrimonial bed so which means that it is a matrimonial bed it has these details that would depict or signify as a matrimonial bed so what are these the first one is this detail in the leg section which is a squash detail as you can see here squash detail and it has it is in all over the the legs of the atai bed the second one the second detail is this grape detail in the upper portion of the atai bed which signifies fertility for the wedded couple the third detail is in the headboard of the atai bed so you can see a lot of fern detail in the headboard of the atai bed when you sleep in it and then lastly is this bed has a solohia so solihia are usually uh, you can usually find this in some old uh, furnitures in your grandma grandpa and actually it has been coming back in the present day so a lot of people are, are loving it again in a contemporary design so i myself love um, using a solihia kinds of furniture so i hope you do so when i saw max limbag's post i was very interested when he said that the giate word is actually related to the atay bed. So according to this very famous journalist and blogger, he said that architect Tony Abelgas, a very famous restoration architect and a Jesuit at that, um, said that the etymology of the word giatay was actually related to the atay bed. So during this time, it was actually a reference to the people who was bedridden. So giatay, bedridden. And then it evolved to something in reference to someone who is dying, as in he is in his atai bed. Dying bed. Oops, bad expression, the Aini. And I hope through this you get to know more about Filipino furniture and the history and the language that is used after it. So please don't forget to subscribe in my videos for more videos like this and comment in the section below if you have comments. And also don't forget to like my Facebook page, Sweeter Designs Inc. Thank you very much.